it's quite possible that you've been living in this constant state of fear, whether you realize it or not, with this silly ingrained belief that you're not worthy of success, whether it's in your career, social relationships, intimate relationships. If so, you could be suffering from imposter syndrome. Heck, I was for years, and it can rear its ugly head in different forms. Are you the perfectionist? At one point in my career, I demanded perfection from myself. I would get insanely infuriated if I was anything less than the best. Now, it's okay. I am free to draw what I want to draw. It does not have to be perfect. Maybe you're the fraud, overcompensating for your self-perceived inadequacies. And you overwork yourself to overcome them until you finally hit burnout. I used to be a skinny malinky, I was. I'd build my body up to get over the pain of being rejected by so many bonny lasses. But alas, being immortal is lonely. I gotta lean into the rejection from this time forward. Otherwise, I'm never gonna grow to my full potential. Then there's those of you who are deemed by those around you as the gifted. Throughout your lives, things have come easy for you. But when you have to struggle, you feel this sense of shame. I'm one of them guys with a lot of gifts. What can I tell you? That's why it drives me nuts when I can't do something. It's like writing lyrics. I've had trouble writing my own lyrics. Believe it or not, me, of all people. Next up, the Maverick. I've been guilty of this one, too. I feel like I have to do everything myself, otherwise I've failed. I was a school teacher in the public schools. That's right. And I did all my lesson plans. Didn't let nobody help me, because I wanted it done right. Thanks for your service in the classroom, Tanner. How about that? The egocentric. You feel like you're not smart. So you have to overcompensate and prove to everyone that you're really not that dumb. I sure as heck ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. So I've been overcompensating by telling everybody all I know about baseball. Talking about how good I am, only because of my insecurities. I ain't like that no more. Thanks for sharing, Gunthor. Now, how to overcome imposter syndrome? Communicate, you gotta be an open book. Share your stories with others. You may find that they've had similar experiences and they've shared your insecurities. All right, I got a confession to make. I always done my own lesson plans because I don't read so good. So I gotta spend a lot of time and make sure I get it down so I can teach it to the students. I'm afraid to try something new because I might mess up in front of them. I don't want to look stupid. Did you know I felt like an imposter when I started Creative Leap TV? Who am I to be an entertaining influencer? I've never won any awards. And as far as health, who am I to advise people? I couldn't even get my master's. I didn't pass organic chemistry. The heck with it. I live and breathe a healthy lifestyle. I love entertaining, I love educating, and I love inspiring people. I'm here to inspire you. Wonderful. I am self-trained as well. I never went to art school, and it is okay. I still believe I can make a positive impact on this world, even if my dreams of becoming a major league ball player didn't come true. I'm gonna start writing my own lyrics. Taylor Swift can do it. I can do it. These are all great stories, guys. Here's another tip. When someone compliments you, really take it in. Appreciate it. And think about it. Next time insecurities come up, this will relieve a lot of the anxiety you get from it. I guess I could do that. I wrote a poem for a girl one time. She said it moved her to tears. I blew her off. Didn't think nothing of it. Moving others with our art. One of the greatest joys of being a creator. What a great note to end on. Subscribe right down there. Like the video. Make a comment too. Take care. Au revoir.